Uh, our chief guest this morning, WHO country representative in Kampala, the Vice Chancellor of Makere University, <coughs> Professor Duma Sentamu, uh, Dr. Erika Wheeler from WHO, uh, Chair of uh, the Organizing Committee, all distinguished guests present, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a very special pleasure for me to be standing here uh, before you this morning. But first of all, let me say a very, very warm welcome to all of you from wherever you've come from. But probably uh, a very, an extra special welcome to Dr. Erika Huira, who is uh, coming from WHO and is charged with making sure that the kind of business we are dealing with today actually takes place uh, properly around the world. Dr. Huira, you're most welcome. We are indeed, as Makere College of Health Sciences, very privileged and honored to be your host and co-organizer for this conference. Uh, let me just suggest that you sit back, relax, and enjoy every moment of this conference, but through active, active participation. Please participate very actively. Today we are indeed contributing to making great history uh, in the region. Uh, as you heard from the chair of the organizing committee, this is the second such conference being held. But it is so important that we are dealing with nothing else but health professions education. A few years ago, little did we know uh, and envisage that an annual gathering of this kind would become uh, something of part of this landscape on a year-to-year -year basis. I think we have reached a tipping point uh, where matters of training or educating health professionals are not left merely to the vagaries of the specialists who decide and decide anyhow on what to teach and how to teach. As you know, the assumption was once you are a surgeon, a pediatrician, whatever it is that you knew how to teach, how to educate, and that you could just decide as the specialist what should be taught and where it is taught. Rather, it looks to me that science is beginning to take a hold of the way we do business and that it is becoming a strong foundation in the region. Elsewhere, people had moved on, but in the region, we are kind of lagging behind. Through an association like this, we can make sure that actually the scientific principles underlying health professions education can be worked out properly and can be used as a basis for what we do. We need to ask some very, very important questions as we move on. What is the theoretical basis of what we do in education and training? Is there a theoretical basis and what is it? Secondly, how do we know that what we do works? That what we are doing to those in training whether pre-service or in service, that it actually works. Works to do what? To produce the kind of product that we would like to see. Which then begs the next question. What kind of product do we want to see? In order to ensure that our education aligns well to produce the kind of product we would like to see. Which also begs the next question. But who decides on what we would like to see? Who decides and how are those decisions made? The process should be as transparent, it should be as open, and it should be one that can be questioned so that we make rational decisions in the way we do business. 
So those are some of the key issues that we need to look at in a health profession's education. My boss is here, and I'm sure he's going to be saying much more. So I need to be brief, and my last comment would be that I think the momentum is on for us to look at things critically. Indeed, our consumers out there are asking questions. You people are educating. Sometimes they say, we don't like what we see. We don't like what we have. So if the consumers are saying so, we need to be accountable by listening to them and being able to say, okay, how can we do much better? So as I said, the momentum is on. But my feeling is we have not yet reached the level where the evolution of things is non-stoppable. We would like to get to that place where the kind of discussion and questioning that will go on in this room is at a pace, at a level, where it just keeps propelling itself and you can't stop it. How do we get there? We need to ensure sustainability of what we do and we need it to accelerate the momentum. With those few remarks, once again, a very warm welcome to you all to this conference and I wish you very fruitful deliberations. Thank you very much. Thank you.